With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is the value of molar depression constant or cryoscopic constant Kf depends on which of the following. So you are given four options. Nature of solvent, heat of solution of the solute in the solvent, nature of solute, vapor pressure of the solution, right? Now, how do you define this Kf, which is the cryoscopic constant? Now, it is defined as the depression in freezing point, that is delta Tf, is actually proportional to the molality, right? Molality of the solution. And when we remove the sign of proportionality, now delta Tf represents the depression in freezing point. Whenever a non-volatile solute is added to a solvent, a pure solvent, it leads to a depression in the freezing point. And this is equal to Kf into M. So, this Kf is known as the molal depression in freezing point constant or the cryoscopic constant, right? And this Kf is depends only and only on the nature of solvent. It only depends upon the quality of the solvent, okay? So, it only changes with the change in the solvent. So, for a specific solvent, Kf is going to have a specific value. For example, for water, Kf has a value of 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. So, the value of Kf for a solvent is fixed. So, basically it changes with the change in solvent, not with the solute, not with the heating or the vapor pressure. It only and only depends upon the nature of solvent, right? And this is given in option number A. So, option A is going to be the correct answer for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.